Hello, my dear friend. From my family and my home to your home and your family, I wish you the happiest Easter ever. I pray that it is a magic time, a magic time of realizing the specialness. In 1 Peter 1, verse 3, it says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. There are four parts of the resurrection story. There's the trial, the crucifixion, the tomb, and the resurrection. This is not just a story of Jesus Christ from 2,000 years ago. It is a story about us and for us today. There are many of you that have gone through trials. And there are many of you that have actually gone through crucifixions. You know, crucifixions where you're fired from a job. Or you have someone say to you, that I don't love you anymore. I don't want you to be a part of my life. A crucifixion then of, of being shut out where we're in the tomb. Maybe it's a tomb mentally and we don't know how to get out on our own. And then, with God's help, there is the resurrection. Remember on this Easter Sunday that if you let the light of God into an area that seems dead in your life, there will be a resurrection. God is the God of resurrection. Not just 2,000 years ago, but inside of your life right now. You are a child of God. And if you want to roll away the stone in your life, if you're tired of living in the stone age, of believing in doubt and human limitation. You are ready to witness a resurrection in your life. Just ask God. You follow Jesus by believing in things that are higher and better. You are not just a child of the first day. You are a child of the third day. The Easter day. We are Easter people. And we are defined in our life by the resurrections that we go through. History is written through a rear view mirror. And yet it unfolds through a foggy windshield. Well, it may be foggy, but God can show you the way guiding you through the maze of life to a more successful and a better tomorrow. On this Easter weekend, we follow Jesus by having our own personal resurrections. And we ask God to lift us above our own personal human trials, our personal crucifixions, and even the tomb experiences in our lives. We are ready on this Easter to rise above former doubt and human limitation. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. John 11, 25 and 26. Well, this pertains to you and me, and it pertains to any area of your life that seems dead now. Christ is the resurrection. And when you experience the resurrection, whether at Easter or any other time, you find you're not the same. You are better. You have a new body. You have a new mind. You have a new life. You have a new happiness. You have new relationships and friends and companions, you'll have a new joy spring forth in your life, a springtime joy. 
I pray for you that this Easter is very meaningful at a personal soul level. I pray that you let God in. And God stays inside of you to strengthen you and cause you to rise, to resurrect, to become new. In Jesus Christ's name we follow. Amen.